if you want to send me the recording too, I can send it later too. Awesome. I'll do that. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I uh, hope everybody is having a great day. As you guys come on live, uh, please pop into the chat. Say hi and where you're tuning in from. Uh, always like seeing where, you know, different people are obviously coming in from. Um, also, uh, as you start chiming in in the chat, uh, if this is your first time actually seeing one of my trainings, Pittsburgh PA, we got some Philly. Awesome. I'm uh, just from outside of Philly. I'm in Jersey. Um, so if this is your first time seeing me train, just drop a Y or a yes. If it's not type an N or a no, um, I've actually done, oh God, I can't even tell you at this point how many trainings I've done for network after work. And I just want to thank Tatiana again for the opportunity. And, uh, today is actually going to be different, uh, from every other training I've done. Uh, because typically there's like a slideshow and this, that, or the other. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. And we're actually going to do a live look. And today is about three new and improved strategies of how to generate leads on LinkedIn. So for those of you that, that do not know me, my name is Scott Aaron. Uh, yes, I have two first names, so it gets a little confusing for people. You, uh, My middle name is Robert, so it gets even more confusing with three first names. But that's besides the point. Uh, I reside now just outside of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, born and raised in Philadelphia. And I've been coaching and consulting on how to leverage LinkedIn uh, for close to 13 years now. Um, I work with people on an individual basis. I do group coaching. I have memberships. Uh, I do high level consulting and speaking. I was out in Minnesota last week at an HR convention. And my big passion is helping people succeed in their business using LinkedIn. It is one of those platforms that has given so much back to me that I can only return the favor by giving it back to so many people that may not know what they need to be doing on LinkedIn. Now, with that being said, everything that you're going to be learning today is based on the free version of LinkedIn. So you do not need premium navigator or recruiter to apply these strategies. And I believe that the lifeline of our businesses are leads. If we do not have leads, we can't acquire clients, which means we can't grow our revenue. Now, because all of you uh, have decided to attend today's uh, training, um, Tatiana is going to actually drop uh, a link in the chat now. Um, you guys are all invited to a free five-day workshop uh, that I'm doing the first week of November. It's from November 4th to November 8th. I'm going to be going into even deeper context. So if you guys just click on that link that Tatiana just dropped in there, um, you just fill it out at some point during today's training, uh, you'll be invited to a free five-day workshop with me. It's live and recorded. Um, we go over optimization of your profile, searching, connecting, messaging, and my 20-minute-a-day routine. Now, uh, you'll have other chances. Um, this is going to be recorded, obviously. Uh, some of you did email me. Uh, I will be sending out a replay link for all of you to watch this back in case you want to watch it over again. Tatiana is also going to email uh, email this out to the entire Network After Work uh, list that did register for this if they couldn't make it. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to go back and watch this again. So we're going to be going over three specific, I would say, new and improved strategies for lead gen uh, on LinkedIn. And that has to do with LinkedIn newsletters. That has to do with your LinkedIn profile. And it has to do with LinkedIn polls, not just from your personal profile, uh, but groups in specific. Now, on a scale of one to 10, uh, 10 being you have leads flowing in left and right that are qualified. One, um, they're not coming in at all. Where would you guys rate yourselves on a scale of one to 10 as far as your, I would say, rate at generating consistent leads on LinkedIn? So I'm seeing a lot of ones, twos, ones. Okay. So the goal, <laughs> minus one, um, <laughs> the goal is to have everyone as close to a 10 as possible. Now, I know some of these things 
may be a little advanced, but um, as T. Harv Ecker says, he wrote uh, a, a great book called um, The Millionaire Mindset. And he says, every master was once a disaster. So we're all starting in the same place. So what I wanted to do today, uh, unlike other trainings I've done, there's going to be no slides, zero slides. I'm actually going to be sharing my screen on LinkedIn, and I'm actually going to be showing you the processes of what you guys can have in place that will allow you to apply these specific strategies. Now, uh, as I always do, uh, I'm going to save time at the end for any and all questions that you guys have. So at around 2.45, so 15 minutes to the top of the hour, uh, I'm going to wrap everything up, put a nice bow on it, and then I'm going to leave it to all of you that are on here live to ask any and every question that you have in regards to the three specific things that you learned today with generating leads and or anything else that you have questions about in regards to LinkedIn. So if everybody is clear on that so far, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Um, I believe in evoking emotion, but also creating connection. And the more that we all participate, you know, throughout this training in the chat and everything else, the more you're actually going to retain. So it's been proven in, in business studies that those that actually actively participate, whether it's in person or online like this, you're going to retain three times more information than someone that maybe has their camera off and they're folding laundry or making lunch at the same time. Um, so I really invite you to really, you know, stop everything else that you're doing, you know, put your phone to the side, close all your tabs, and let's focus on these next 40 plus minutes of what needs to be done on LinkedIn. Now, for myself, my, my wife and I run three businesses together. Um, I run the LinkedIn consulting and coaching side. She has a content repurposing agency and together we run a couple of different programs together. Um, we've written a book together called the feel good business model. It's right behind us, uh, became a bestseller on Amazon. And over the last seven years, we've grown and scaled our company where we have to only work three days a week. Now, um, that is something that we want for everybody. Um, we believe in living more and working less, but when we do work, to make that work so impactful and so fun, it never seems like work. Because you hear the whole adage is that you'll never work a day in your life if you love what you do. And the goal that I have for every single one of you is to really help showcase how much you love what you do by really showing up very genuinely, authentically, and obviously who you are supposed to be on LinkedIn. So um, we're going to go over those three specific things today, and I think that the heaviest lifting of what we're going to cover first um, are LinkedIn newsletters. Now, um, why or yes or N or no, if you currently do or do not have a LinkedIn newsletter set up? So why, if you do, no, if you don't. Okay. So I'm seeing more, more no's than yeses. Now, I'm actually going to show you first and foremost how you set one up. Um, and the power of it. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with LinkedIn articles. It's it's through LinkedIn publishing. LinkedIn newsletters are a little bit different. And they're a little bit different because you actually have the ability to build a subscriber list. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with subscriber lists. If you've ever subscribed to a YouTube channel, same principle. With a LinkedIn newsletter, you can actually grow subscribers, meaning you can directly communicate with the subscribers of that. But I'm actually going to go over some additional benefits of that. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, as I share my screen, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat if you guys can see my screen clearly. Just so I just want to make sure. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. So within LinkedIn, um, you're going to see right at the top, um, where it says, write an article, right? So if any of you have ever written an article, you've probably clicked this button and you're taken into LinkedIn Publisher. Now, the only difference between this and 
articles is when you click on LinkedIn articles, this is what LinkedIn publisher looks like. Now, this is obviously the ability. And if you look over to the left, I have the ability to write either an individual article right here or to my LinkedIn newsletter, which is called LinkedIn Tips and Updates. Now, if you have not yet created a LinkedIn newsletter, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is click on manage and you're going to see something that says create newsletter. That's it. Now, what it looks like on the back end of that. So when you go to create your newsletter, uh, a couple different things pop up. So when you go into obviously create your newsletter, it's going to take you to an area where it looks like this. This is your, your newsletter details. Okay. So when you go in there, you're obviously going to have a newsletter title. Now this should be SEO optimized. Um, drop a Y or a yes or an N or a no if you're familiar with SEO optimization. So Y or yes, N or a no. Okay. So I'm seeing a mixture of both. So SEO optimization, uh, SEO optimization is search engine optimization like Google, Yahoo, or Bing, right? So when you're choosing a LinkedIn newsletter title, you want to choose a title that is very clear and very specific to what you do personally and professionally. So when someone is you know, searching or maybe they're going through the My Network area and some suggested newsletters come up and they see LinkedIn tips and updates, someone that wants to learn how to leverage LinkedIn better, guess what? They're going to subscribe. So drop into the chat, just so I can kind of give you guys some prompts and ideas. Drop into the chat uh, what you do for a profession. So what industry or uh, what professional title you hold, first and foremost. I'm going to take you through a little bit of a prompt. Financial advisor, awesome. Tech sales. Um, and that's a great one right there. You know, the tech sales newsletter. I mean, I think that's something that can really uh, impact people. Now, so... Everything that you guys are writing, financial advisor, uh, designer, financial advisor, sales and global solutions, you also have to think about, you have to think about who your ideal target audience is, right? So you have to think about when you are building your network on LinkedIn, you want to create a newsletter title that's going to speak to that ideal person. So how many of you, I'm, I'm I know this is a loaded question. How many of you are familiar with chat GPT at this point? Why or yes, N or no? Yeah, I think everybody is at this point. Chat GPT is a great resource because what you can do is you can actually train chat GPT to give you some output that you need. So you literally can go onto chat GPT and you can say, you know, hey, chat GPT, I'm looking to create a newsletter title for a newsletter on LinkedIn. Can you help me create some names? And you would basically punch that in there and they would say, yes. And they would say, tell me a little bit about your newsletter. And you would say, well, professionally, I'm a financial advisor and I focus on uh, X and current military or upcoming retirees, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they would say, thank you for that. Here are some suggested newsletter titles based on what you do professionally and who your target audience is. So if that makes sense, drop a Y or a yes in the chat. So again, you can talk to ChatGPT just like you're talking to a person. You can say, hey, can you help me do this? And it'll say, yes. What information you know, can you give me to help you create that output? So you've created your newsletter title now, as far as frequency, I always su suggest weekly or bi-weekly. Reason being daily is too much of a commitment. Monthly is not enough. Because if there's someone else in your space and using financial advisors as an example, these are people that my wife and I work with. I've trained some of the top financial firms uh, in the country. If you, if you do it too infrequently, that financial advisor that may have that newsletter that's going out every week is going to gain the audience and not you. So either choose to do it weekly or bi-weekly. So if that's clear, just type a Y or a yes in the chat. 
So your frequency is weekly or biweekly. Now, the newsletter description, this is basically a newsletter, the description that's going to basically tell the potential subscriber or current subscriber what it is that you're going to be teaching. So it says right here, this is a newsletter dedicated to teaching and educating you on LinkedIn tips, LinkedIn updates, and LinkedIn advice. Very simple. Then you're going to upload an image. So this could be a professional photo of you. It could be your logo. Um, so bi-weekly means every other week. So weekly obviously is weekly. Bi-weekly is every other week. So that is going to be your newsletter description. And then your image or your logo. And then all you're going to do is hit done. Now, here's the cool thing. So when you create your newsletter, there's a couple things that happen. Number one, um, when you uh, how type a Y or a yes, if you're actively connecting with people on LinkedIn, Y or yes, if you're actively connecting with people on LinkedIn. All right. So here's the cool thing that happens after you create your newsletter and you're sending your connection requests out, when someone accepts your connection request, they automatically, after accepting, get an invitation to subscribe to your newsletter. Automatically. So now LinkedIn is actually helping you grow it. Now, here's the other cool thing. When you produce, when you produce, um, when you produce your first LinkedIn newsletter edition, so you write it up and you push it out. And I actually have one pre-prepared. I'm going to show you guys how it should look and how you can set it up. When you produce and publish. Um, so uh, Suzanne, they started this probably about two and a half years ago. They started the LinkedIn newsletter feature. That first newsletter that goes out, LinkedIn sends an invitation to every single one of your current connections to subscribe to your newsletter. So you may see a few hundred people subscribe right away. The other cool thing is every subscriber of your newsletter, LinkedIn will email them personally every single time you publish a new episode. So if you stick to that every week cadence, so not only is LinkedIn notifying all of your subscribers every time a new uh, a new newsletter edition comes out in the notification section on LinkedIn, they're also emailing all those subscribers. And here's where the lead generation aspect of this comes into play. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. This was one that I released a couple of weeks ago. And it was when to block and delete connections. So this is what my newsletter looks like. It kind of goes through everything, blah, blah, blah. At the end, I have a little call to action. So LinkedIn allows you to put in hyperlinks into the body of the newsletter. So if any of you have a website, if you have a business calendar link where people can book a call with you, if people, um, if you have a lead magnet, you can actually embed that right in your newsletter edition and they can actually click on it through here and it takes them offline so you now can connect with people offline and create some leads that way. But also in addition to that, LinkedIn is emailing this out to all of your newsletter subscribers. So LinkedIn is gonna automatically embed that clickable link, not only on LinkedIn, but in the email that they're pushing out. So if that makes sense, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat. I just want to make sure you guys are with me so far. Awesome. So of the things that I mentioned, um, just type this in the chat. Um, type website if you, if you have a website. Calendar link if you're using a calendar link. Lead magnet if you're using a lead magnet. So what would you be promoting in that? So calendar link, website, uh, calendar link. Awesome. Um, yes. So after your, your newsletter is created and you're publishing, every time you make a new connection and they accept, LinkedIn then 
invites them automatically to subscribe to your newsletter automatically. And that happens just continuously as long as you have your newsletter. Now, let me just kind of take you through the process a little bit of what I do. And again, if this is helping so far, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat. And again, you can pre-schedule. So did you guys know, just type a Y or a yes or an N or a no, if you did or did not know that LinkedIn has a pre-scheduling tool built into it. So why or yes, N or no. Okay. If you did, great. If you didn't, you can actually pre-schedule your newsletter editions. You can pre-schedule posts. You can pre-schedule anything you want. And just to kind of show you what that looks like, you see this little clock on the bottom right right here where it says schedule for later? You can schedule anything you want for later. If you upload a video, a slide document, a post, an image text post, a newsletter edition, a poll question. They can all be pre-scheduled. So, so it's really good to get ahead of your content so you don't necessarily have to post in real time, but it still can be relevant. So I just wanted to show you guys that ahead of time. So let me take you through what it looks like to kind of get this newsletter up and going. So first and foremost, um, you can have multiple newsletters. Yes. Great question, Jillian. You can have multiple newsletters. What I typically suggest, um, no, uh, Tom asked another great question. Does pre-scheduling affect any viewing algorithms? None whatsoever. LinkedIn created the pre-scheduling to have people more consistent on LinkedIn. They would much rather have people pre-schedule and post than have to post in real time and not post at all. But great question, Tom. So what I tell people is if you want to have multiple newsletters, start with one first and kind of get the cadence of that before you add anything else onto your plate. But if you have a company page, I always suggest having one newsletter from your personal profile. And then if you have a company page, you can actually have a newsletter attached to your company page. But we're just going to focus on your personal profile and starting from scratch or just showing you how I create leads from my newsletter. So um, when I'm writing a newsletter article, I'm going to, I'm going to click on write an article. And uh, you also want to have some sort of uh, background thumbnail, just like you would on YouTube. And just to kind of show you, I already have one pre-made up for you guys. Um, this is the, the template that I use. If you're from, how many of you are familiar with Canva? Why or yes? And or no, if you are or aren't, it's free, canva.com. And basically this newsletter edition is the easiest ways to skyrocket your engagement on LinkedIn. Now, if you're looking for the perfect sizing, when you're on Canva, just type in YouTube thumbnail, and then this is this the exact size. And you basically just have to add your own information to it. So I'm actually going to go in here and I'm just gonna download this really quickly just to kind of show you what that looks like. I'm not gonna download all four pages. I'm gonna download that right there. So that's done. And now I'm gonna go back and I am going to hop onto LinkedIn. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag. And there is my background photo. Now I've pre-written a newsletter for you guys. Um, so here's the thing, um, to create a newsletter, just so you guys know, um, there are some parameters that LinkedIn has, and I believe you have to have at least 250 followers. There are some things that you need to know. Um, so let me just show you really quickly. Um, let me just go to LinkedIn. I'll show you that there's an area where you guys can actually check on this to see if you have access first and foremost. So when you go to the LinkedIn homepage, um, do you guys see where it says post impressions right here on the left-hand side? If you click on this, it's gonna take you to something called creator tools, which is right here. So it's gonna show you what you do or do not have available. So it'll say, yep, you got LinkedIn Live. Yep, you got audio events. Yep, you got newsletters. And yep, you got the follow link. So if this is not green, it'll be grayed out. You can click on 
in more information and it'll tell you a little bit more of what you need in order to get it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back one step. So you click on the left-hand side right here where it says post impressions under profile viewers. You click on that and then you just scroll to the bottom and you'll see it right here under creator tools. So I've already pre-written one for you guys, just so you guys can see. Um, and I'm just going to grab it really quickly. I'm going to grab my title and I'm going to show you what I do. All right. So there's my title. And um, if you don't have the newsletter available yet, just write regular LinkedIn articles in the interim. So I'd rather see you do that than nothing at all. You can still embed hyperlinks in there just like you would a newsletter, but this is more directed towards your, your newsletter subscribers. So I'm now going to grab all the other information that is in my newsletter that I have already pre-written. And I'm going to put that in here. Okay. So you can see here is my LinkedIn newsletter. So it has all my stuff, right? Um, it has the tips, takeaway, action step. And then what you can see at the end right here. Don't forget to click on the link below to register for my free LinkedIn workshop. And there's a clickable link. So now this is a way for me to turn my subscribers into leads in my email service provider. So if this is clear so far, just type the word clear in the chat. I just want to make sure you guys are with me. So I'm starting my newsletter, right? I'm, I'm you know, writing my newsletter. And at the very end, I have all that information right there. So everything is in there. Okay. Now, again, just really quickly, um, because you guys have registered for this, um, I'm doing a free five-day workshop from November 4th to November 8th, which is mentioned right here. Tatiana is going to drop the registration link in the chat. So you guys feel free. You can click on it. You can register after we're done or right now. Um, it's from Monday through Friday, the, the 4th to the 8th. Um, and we're going to be going into deeper context about what needs to be done on LinkedIn. So now that I have everything built out here, I'm basically going to click next. And then I'm just going to say, and this is what I do, you know, uh, what was your biggest takeaway? From. Hold on. This week's newsletter edition. I'm going to use a couple hashtags, engagement, LinkedIn, business. Now, here's where the fun part comes in, right? I can click this little clock right here where it says schedule for later. I can click it. I always release my newsletters on Fridays. I click on the 25th, which is right here. And then I always suggest, and this is for all of you as well, push your content out between 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get it out first thing in the morning. It will create more engagement throughout the day. So I'm going to click on 7.30 a.m. Next. And then I'm going to click this little button right here that says schedule. And now it's done. And now my newsletter is scheduled. So if everybody is clear on that so far, um, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is suggested for your content. It's just going to get it out enough early in the morning to hit people on their way to work while they're at work and after work. Okay. So now, so again, the goal is have that hyperlink in your content. Now, there's a secondary way of generating leads from your LinkedIn newsletters and that's actually directly connecting with your subscribers. So you can see right here, I have 8,464 subscribers of my LinkedIn newsletter. And when I click on this, it's actually going to take me to my the homepage of my newsletter. And I can actually click on this and it's going to show me every single subscriber. So now what I can do is, I can actually connect with these people. 
if they're not a first connection. And I can add a note, you know, saying, hey, Randall, thanks so much for subscribing to my newsletter. Would love to connect. So now I'm actually utilizing my newsletter to actually create more connections, to create more leads. Uh, what if I already did an article? Would it be worthwhile to start doing a newsletter instead of articles? How does it appear on your business page or your profile? Yeah, absolutely. If I had to pick one or the other, 110%, make sure you're doing newsletter editions over articles. I started doing articles in the beginning and then I switched over to newsletters because you can also add it to your featured content section on your LinkedIn profile and on your company page, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, if you do happen to have a first connection that has subscribed to your newsletter, you can simply just click the message button and you can say, thanks so much for subscribing to my newsletter. If I can ever be of any service or assistance to you and your business, don't hesitate to reach out and thanks for being a dedicated subscriber. That's it. So now you're building rapport and connection with these people that are subscribing to your newsletters. So if that's clear and if that makes sense, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat. Awesome. So the first step is leveraging LinkedIn newsletters. Now, going back to something that, that Suzanne um, asked about, when you go to your LinkedIn profile, you're going to see the featured content section right here, okay? Okay. If you click on this plus sign, you can add your newsletter. So you can actually gain subscribers just by adding it to your LinkedIn profile. So when people go onto your LinkedIn profile, there's going to be a subscribe button right here. So if you're optimizing your LinkedIn profile the right way, then basically people can then subscribe right from there. Um, uh, nowhere do you see the subscriber. So you have to actually click into your uh, newsletter itself. And you're going to see at the very, very top, just to show you guys again, you got to click on your newsletter and it'll show you all the subscribers right there where there's a hyperlink and that's where you can find them. So that is the first thing that I wanted to go over. The second thing that I wanted to go over is actually leveraging your LinkedIn profile to generate leads. Um, so Jesse, you can't create it from the home screen. Um, you actually have to do it from, oh, not not your home screen. You actually, and, and if you jumped on late, you can watch the replay, but I do wanna get through these last two tips and then we can open up for questions at the end. If everybody's okay with that, just drop a Y or a yes in the chat. Just wanna make sure, I wanna make sure we get through this. Okay, so your LinkedIn profile. So there's a couple things that you can do to generate leads on your LinkedIn profile. Number one is the LinkedIn clickable link in your headline section. So right here, you can see that I have a clickable link where I have a free LinkedIn assessment. So people can click on that. It's a, it's a two minute assessment that basically tells them what their holes and gaps are in their business. And if they wanna learn more about how I can assist them, they can schedule a call. So basically from there, just to show you where you can actually add that in, when you go and you edit your LinkedIn profile right here and you scroll to the very bottom, it's gonna ask you for a website. And this is where you can add a link so you can add your website. Um, how many of you use a calendar link like Acuity or Calendly? Um, some people use Microsoft Teams. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So this is where you can actually put that calendar link for people to book a call with you. So you literally can copy and paste the link to your calendar. And then under here, you can put a link text that says, book a free call with me. Or schedule a call for free. Or contact me. Or you can have your website and it could say, visit my website, check out my website. Maybe you have a lead magnet, like you have an assessment or a checklist or an opt-in, right? So that's what I use, right? I have my assessment link and I said, my free LinkedIn assessment. So when people start to visit your profile, 
they can click right on that URL and it takes them right to that secondary page. So if someone clicks on right here, boom, takes them right to my LinkedIn scorecard assessment like that. And this could be your calendar. This could be your website. Um, can you change your email in your previous profile? Yes, you can change your, your profile and I can go over that towards the end. So the first thing that you can do to generate more leads using your LinkedIn profile is using the clickable link in the headline section of your profile. So if everybody is clear on that, drop a Y or a yes in the chat. Awesome. Now, as we scroll down, as we scroll down, the second thing that you can do is the featured content section. Drop a Y or a yes or an N or a no if you do or do not have the featured content section on your LinkedIn profile. Okay. If you do, great. If you don't, here's what you need to do. All you have to do is click add profile section and you have three options. Core, recommended, and additional. You're gonna click on recommended and you're gonna see the first thing right here is add featured. All you have to do is click on add featured and it's gonna take you to this screen. Now I have stuff here, so it's gonna look like just the top bar. It's not gonna have anything below, but if you click on the plus sign, it's gonna ask you, hey, what do you wanna add? So you can feature a recent post. You can add a newsletter like we just went over. You can add an article or you can add a link. This is where you can add your calendar link, your website, your free lead magnet, your assessment, anything that will enable someone to click on it and get them from online to offline. So when someone goes to my featured content section, look right here, it's my free assessment. So they can click on this, they can click view, where does it take them? Right to my lead magnet assessment. So now you're converting your connections into leads. I want you to all remember that social media, including LinkedIn, is rented land. We don't own any of them. We don't own our LinkedIn profile. So you need to make sure that you are doing everything that you can possible to connect with people offline, whether that's through a phone call, a Zoom, your website, a calendar link, get them offline. Now, the other thing is you can see here, um, I have a book that my wife and I wrote. I have information about a membership that I have, a testimonial, right? And then I have other featured things that people can look at, right? So here's my free LinkedIn infograph. Here's my LinkedIn book that I wrote. Here's a successful poll that I conducted, right? So you can feature a ton of different things. But if you truly want to generate more leads on LinkedIn, using your LinkedIn profile, make sure that you have that clickable link in the top portion of your headline section, but also you have something in the featured content section that takes people from online to offline. So if everybody is clear on that, just type the word, type the word clear in the chat. Good, I just wanna make sure. So again, newsletter, profile. Now, the final thing that I wanted to go over today before we open it up for questions are LinkedIn polls. So uh, drop a Y or a yes or an N or a no if you have or have not ever conducted a LinkedIn poll question. All right. Now, if you don't know how to do that, first and foremost, okay, for those that have, you know what to do. If you don't, all you have to do is start here and you're going to see a plus sign. And you're going to see right here where it says create a poll. Now, polls are great because they're used for market research. 
If you want to find out what your ideal clients are struggling with, you need to ask them. Questions lead to answers. So this will enable you to find out directly from your audience what people may need help with. So I can click right here. And what I can say is um, in regards to LinkedIn, what do you feel you need to improve most with? Oh, I'm going to use Grammarly. So in regards to LinkedIn, regarding LinkedIn, what do you feel you need to improve most? Optimizing your profile. Creating engaging content. Connecting with ideal clients. Other comment below. Right? Now, I'm going to click done. The only thing you have to type up here is hashtag question for my network. Okay? And then you can schedule these. I always do my polls on Wednesdays. I always do them midweek. And I would suggest all of you to do the same. So I'm going to click the little clock right here. I'm going to choose tomorrow, which is the 23rd. And just as a reminder, what is the time frame that I... Told you guys you should post. What's that time frame? Type it in the chat if you remember. Yep, between 7.30 and 8.30 a.m. I'm going to choose 7.30 a.m. Next, schedule, and it's done. Boom. Now, I can check to see what I have pre-scheduled. So I can click on to start the post. I can click on the clock right here. I can click view all scheduled posts. You'll see my poll for Wednesday and you'll see the newsletter that we created together on Friday. So you can actually see what you have pre-scheduled. Now, with polls, just to kind of show you how it works, um, this is how you create engagement. So right here, uh, I asked a question to my network the other day, what version of LinkedIn do you use currently? So 58 people, 67% said the free version. 31% said premium. And the way that you see who, and this is Jennifer kind of prompted me for this. This is how you can start to create leads. I can click on where it says 58 votes and it shows me every single person who voted in my poll. Now, what I can do is, so if there's someone here that I feel would be a good potential lead for me, I can click this little blue arrow and watch what it does. It actually creates a message that includes the poll question that you're actually messaging them from. So I can say, you know, hi, Phyllis. First, thank you so much for voting in my poll question from the other day. Uh, your support means so much. If I could be of any service or help to you and your business, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day. That's it. I'm not trying to pitch or sell. I'm just leading with value and obviously leading with gratitude. And I'm going to click send. And that's that. So now I can message all of these people from the LinkedIn messaging. And you can see right here, when I go back to my messaging, it actually includes the poll. So when she sees the message, she's seeing a reference point of where this is actually coming from communication wise. Um, so I don't use premium. I've never actually used premium, Jesse. So I've, I've, this is actually the free version of LinkedIn, um, to create a poll, just so people know, all you have to do is click on where it says, start a post. And then you just have to click the plus sign for more. 
and you'll see the bar graph right here that says create a poll. And then you just click on that. And basically that will enable you uh, to create the poll and it pre-formats it for you. So again, leveraging LinkedIn polls and the same thing. So um, I post in groups as well, just to kind of show you how that works. Same thing. I'm leveraging polls in groups to build my network, right? So right here, I did a poll in, the, in a sales group that I'm in. It got 382 votes, uh, almost 12,000 impressions. So I can click on the 382 voters and I can see by the title that the person has, is this someone that would benefit from being in my network? And I can click on them and I can invite them to connect. And in that add a note area, I would say, you know, hey, Amy, thanks for voting in my poll in the sales group that we're in. Hope to connect with you soon. And I just leave it there. So I'm referencing how I made the connection with that person. So if that's clear and if that makes sense, drop a Y or a yes in the chat. Because now, you know, you're inviting these people into your network. And guess what? If you've added that clickable link to the top of your profile, if you added the clickable link to your featured content section, now you're leveraging these polls and the groups to get people into your general network where they can click on one of those links, schedule a call, visit your website, download your free infograph or whatever offering you may have. So that's why I would say these are newer ways of generating leads on LinkedIn because everyone is doing the, the same old song and dance, connect message, connect message. That's only gonna get you so far. You need to think outside the box. So leveraging LinkedIn newsletters the way that I just showed you guys, leveraging some of the newer features on your LinkedIn profile will also help with that, but also leveraging poll questions for market research to really take the conversation to the next level, but also doing those in LinkedIn groups that you're in, asking relevant questions that is gonna pull people out. Now, if you're looking to find the newsletter, all you have to do is click again, click write an article, click on manage, and you should say, you should see right here where it says create a newsletter. If you don't have the option where it says create a newsletter, go back to the LinkedIn home screen, click, it, click where it says post impressions and go down to where it says creator tools and see if the green availability check mark is by where it says LinkedIn newsletters, okay? So we're gonna actually stop there uh, before I open it up for questions. Um, again, Tatiana is gonna drop in the chat one last time. If anybody does wanna register for my free five-day workshop that's coming up November 4th to November 8th, live and recorded, just click on that link and you can get yourself registered. Uh, Suzanne said, do you have to work around for sending a message now that it's limited when you send uh, a connect to invite? Yeah, so um, when you, you're given about 15 to 20 personalized notes. So you're not gonna do this like every single day. You're gonna do it a couple times a week. So you don't wanna use up all of those um, uh, add a note credits right away. So do kind of pace yourself with it. Uh, once you schedule a post, how do you view the post? Um, if you go back to LinkedIn, um, and you guys can continue to pop your questions in the chat. Um, basically, if you click on where it says start a post, you can click on the little clock again at the bottom. You can click schedule for later, and then you can click on view all scheduled posts. And then you can actually edit them from there if you want to put them in draft mode and go back and add things, delete, change the date that you want to publish them. That's where you find that. Um, Tom says, is a premium membership needed to succeed on LinkedIn? Absolutely not. I actually did a podcast episode on this. Um, everything that I have built out in our company, which is now a seven-figure company, we've done through the free version of LinkedIn. I don't negate what some of the paid versions of LinkedIn can do, but I'm a big believer in that you have to squeeze the juice of the free to see if you if it's even worth paying for the paid. So if you're not taking full advantage of the free version of everything that you can do, just because you're throwing money at something doesn't mean it's going to return an ROI. So really follow the strategies of the free version first before you decide to do anything through paid. 
Uh, Aldana said, uh, can you show me where to find the newsletter again? I see it active, but I, I uh, keep missing the step when you click where to start. So um, you're going to click on write an article. That's step one. Step two is you're going to click manage on the top right. Step three, you're going to click create a newsletter, and then it's going to take you to the templated form where you put your newsletter name, frequency, description, your picture, and then you hit done. That is where you're going to find that. Um, you're welcome. Uh, how do you hyperlink uh, worlds or people inside the post? So when you are, uh, when you're looking to do a hyperlink in, in anything that you're doing, um, you can actually put a hyperlink right in here, uh, even in a post. And when you do this, you can see right here, LinkedIn is automatically going to have the hyperlink already pre-embedded in the post. This goes for posts. This goes when you're commenting. This also goes for when you're actually doing that in the newsletter editions. It automat as soon as it, you just copy the hyperlink from your website, you paste it in the newsletter um, content area, and it's going to auto-populate that for you without any issue at all. Um, the recording will be shared. Yes, it's going to be emailed out on my behalf, but also with Tatiana as well. Uh, you're welcome, Diane. You're welcome, Tom. Uh, I believe you said you must have 250 plus followers to have the newsletter function. What is your advice to effectively gain more followers? Uh, well, number one, start connecting with the right people because if they accept, they also become a follower. But number two, make sure your content um, is value added. Make sure you're posting at least two to three days a week. You're really giving tangible tips, takeaways, and action steps of what people can do to better themselves and their business. But also really look to connect, but also engage in other people's content um, so you can basically engage with them that way. So if you see someone make a post that you resonate with, like it and comment, but don't just say great post with a little thumbs up emoji add additional value to it. He, you know, great post and here is why, because what that's going to do is that's going to bump your comment up to a relevant comment, which is going to give you visibility. And that person's connections are going to click on your profile and then grow your following and connections from there. Can uh, I ask you a question? Uh, yes, Jacqueline. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I already have a LinkedIn and I, I want to change from what I used to do. Well, okay, I'm a real estate agent. Now I'm doing, I'm do both. I'm doing investing. I'm more um, heavy on the investing part, part of it. And so I want to just make that switch. Should I create a new page or? Leave? No, you're just going to go to your profile and you're going to edit your information. So if you're doing something new and you want a new focus, you're just going to add an additional experience by just clicking the plus sign. And you're going to make sure that that is the thing that's focused at the top. And then coinciding with that, you're just going to have to update your headline here to reflect more of what you're doing now compared to what you were doing before. Does that make sense? Yep. Yes, yes, I understand. So it's awesome. going to take me a minute to figure all that out, but I, I'll. That's okay. I'll... Yeah, I mean, just click the edit pencil. Very self intuitive. Just take your time. You don't have to rush through it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what is with the verify? Uh, is that important? Yes, a hundred percent. So LinkedIn, aka Microsoft, partnered with a, a security company called Clear to make sure that people have their accounts safe and secure so people can't duplicate or copy your account. Um, so I recommend to everyone, uh, if you have not yet verified your LinkedIn account, do it. All you have to do is use a form of government ID, whether that's a driver's license or a passport. It, it protects you, it protects your account, your information, your contacts, and your personal info. Absolutely do it if you have the ability to do so. Um, I'm already committed to a week long training the first week of November. Is there another time frame? Well, uh, Tanya, it will be recorded. Um, it's from one to 2 PM Eastern standard time. So if you can't attend live, you can always watch the replays. There's going to be a replay page for that. Um, 
Do, do, do. I like the statement, squeeze the fruit. Yep. Uh, do you find advisors have a lot of compliance internal rules to go through before any newsletter gets published? Yeah, Larry, I would go through uh, the compliance department for your financial, um, you know, who you work for. That's, uh, you know, I worked with some of the top firms and, you know, they were using Grapevine and they were using other things. So I would definitely go to compliance first uh, before you start your newsletter to make sure that, you know, what you are allowed to share, what you what you are allowed to call it before you actually do anything uh, on the platform. Um, contacts or followers. So uh, followers. So contacts are basically people that are attached to the email that you signed up through LinkedIn. Don't focus on those. You want to focus on connections and followers. Uh, why not promote both at the same time? Um, I, I'm not sure what that's in reference to, Kyle. You'll you'll have to be a little bit more specific. Is LinkedIn the best social media space for business building? 100%, Tom. That's our, our main thing that we focus on. Um, not, not downplaying the other platforms, but they're more social platforms. LinkedIn is for networking, connecting, um, business exchange, referrals, collaboration, um, eighty-eight percent of people on LinkedIn are in a decision-making role. So you want to play in that sandbox where people are in making business decisions, where money can be exchanged back and forth. Um, how long is the training? Oh, uh, it's uh, sixty minutes each day for the free uh, training that I'm doing from the fourth to the eighth of November. Um, calendar feature. Uh, let's see, where's the calendar? Fe the calendar feature, Jesse, is you're going to have to add that in yourself. So you grab your calendar link and then you add that to this top portion here and the featured content section there, just like I said. Um, awesome. Any additional questions before we wrap up today? LinkedIn was created for job seekers and employers back. Yeah, it was. So it, it's, it's not monster.com anymore. Um, it's one of those things where it's, it's for content creators. Um, and again, one last time, if you guys click on that link, uh, you can register for my free workshop that's coming up, uh, from November 4th to November 8th. And again, feel free to connect with me, uh, on LinkedIn as well. Um, you can, you know, follow my profile. Uh, you know, I do actually two LinkedIn lives, uh, every week on LinkedIn Mondays and Thursdays. So you can always kind of tune in there. That's my LinkedIn handle there. You can follow my profile. Um, I'm connected to a lot of people on the inside of LinkedIn, people in the sales and marketing department. So I always, you know, get firsthand information. So I'm always looking to report that back to all of you to make sure that you guys are utilizing it the, you know, the right way. Um, and again, I didn't want to just do some slide presentation. I just would rather show you guys in real time how you can navigate around LinkedIn. Um, I will be emailing the replay link out to this later on today. So if you have registered for this, Tatiana is going to send it out to you. I'm going to send it out to you guys. Uh, and again, feel free to reach out to me. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. Awesome. Um, you can also email me directly. Um, I'm going to drop my email address in the chat as well. It's scott at scottaaron.net. If there's any follow-up questions or, you know, any obviously feedback uh, and testimonial you want to give me uh, from today's workshop, please let me know. But again, if you really stick to LinkedIn, and I tell this to people all the time, if you give it a solid 12 months of your time, effort, and energy, it will definitely return what you're looking back from it. Uh, and again, these advanced strategies, you know, leveraging the LinkedIn newsletters on a consistent basis, uh, leveraging the LinkedIn polls and the additional things you can do to your profile, it will take everything to the next level. So guys, I hope you found today's workshop helpful. Um, and remember, two to three posts per week is more than enough. Uh, and again, don't forget to register for the free workshop that's coming up in about two weeks. Uh, we're going to kind of continue from here website optimization or uh, profile optimization, searching, connecting, messaging, all of those things. Uh, and again, really looking forward to seeing you guys soon. So everyone have a great rest of your week. Love and gratitude to each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.